What's up YouTube? Today we are going to be taking a look at how to remove your spare tire from your Ford F-150. Let's jump into it. Alright, first thing you're going to want to do is get on the passenger side of the truck, get in your back door, uh, and on the uh, back passenger side seat you have this little um, canvas seatbelt material tab. You're going to pull it and pull the seat down. Once you have pulled the seat down, your jack and your uh, braking bar are going to be in this wool cloth. So go ahead and remove those and take them around to the back of the vehicle. The next step you're going to want to do is go ahead and take your truck key and put it into this barrel lock uh, located on the back of the truck next to the right of your license plate. The truck has a lid, or, or the, I'm sorry, the barrel lock has a lid. You go ahead and drop the lid, stick your key in there. Um, this lock is specific to your vehicle's key to deter any would-be criminals from stealing your spare tire. And so once you've inserted it and turn it clockwise, you go ahead and just pull it out and remove it and then I'll show you the next step. So before we go any further, here is my um, lock removed. Um, you can see how corroded it is. I'm trying to get it to focus there for you. And what I like to do at this point is go ahead and just take a steel um, stiff bristle brush and clean that up a little bit and then hit it with some like uh, WD-40 or PB blaster or just some type of lubricating oil. Um, to prevent this thing from seizing up and uh, deteriorating in the future. All right guys, you can see how uh, clean and new this thing looks with just a little bit of um, scrubbing and I haven't even lubricated it yet. And so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, like I say, spray some uh, PB Blaster, WD-40 or even like some uh, siliconized lubricant. Um, and uh, just go ahead and put it on this thing to keep it from uh, corroding. My truck is six years old, and so, um, you know, this cleaned up really well with a little bit of soap and water and a uh, stiff bristle wire brush. So, I uh, highly recommend doing it now. Save yourself some headache in the future. All right, guys, real quick. So, this is uh, very basic. You've got your braking bar here, and then you've got three posts. Two are identical, and one is shorter. You're going to go ahead and take the two identical posts and you're going to go ahead and take the fat side and you're going to depress this uh, button which drops this pin here and there's a hole in the fat square and you're going to go ahead and lock that pin into place. You're then going to go ahead and take the short portion and do the same exact thing. Depressing the tab so that it lowers the pin, putting the pin in the locking hole. Once you have done, you then take the braking bar and you insert this portion into the braking bar, depressing the button again, dropping the pin so that the uh, braking bar is locked into place. And now you have this big long apparatus that you're going to use to actually drop the tire and I'll show you how to do that right now. Alright guys, our next step is to take this apparatus that we've created, stick it into our uh, lock hole here. There is, you can see that it's at an angle, there is an actual canal and if, uh, there's no way I'd be able to show it to you on camera, but if you take a flashlight once you remove this barrel lock here and you shine it down, you'll see clear as day there's a canal. So you're going to go ahead and take the fat square side of our little braking bar here that we created, stick it in that canal until it locks into place. You'll have to spin it a couple times to get the square to line up. Once it lines up, you want to return. You want to turn counterclockwise, lefty loose. And once you do that, you'll see that your tire starts to drop. And so you're just going to want to go ahead and spin this and it will drop all the way down to the ground until it sits flush onto the ground. And so you're just going to want to go ahead and keep spinning until you get to that point. Now once you get to this point, go ahead and Remove your bar just so it doesn't fall and dent your tailgate or anything like that. And just leave it close by because we'll need it again here in a second to jack up the cable. Alright guys, I'm doing the best I can to give you good camera angles here, but some of this stuff is extremely difficult. And so, we're under the truck now and what we have is the tire laying flat on the ground. 
all I've done is lift it up and I've got my leg, my knee, rested under the tire so that it's just lifted up off the ground a little bit. You can see how this cable then becomes loose. Um, you're going to need to lift it up enough to take the cable and take the big fat portion of the cable and turn it straight up and down underneath of the tire. Once you have done so, you can feed that part, once I drop the tire you'll be able to see it better, up through the hole. And so what I was doing is I just jacked the tire up off the ground. This is flat like this. I jacked it up enough to stand it straight up and down so that I could pull it out of the hole. Once you've done that, the tire is free now. And so we can pull the tire out from under the truck and jack our cable back up. All right, at this point, we have uh, dropped the tire, removed the cable. We're gonna go ahead and stick our uh, braking bar back into our canal and jack the cable back up um, just so it's nice and tight and we don't have a loose cable hanging under the truck anymore. All right, and so once you've jacked the cable up all the way, you will know it becomes snug. Um, that big hook that, that holds the tire and retains it suspended, um, it uh, catches the mounting bracket and it becomes tight. And so you'll know right away uh, when you've uh, properly jacked it up all the way. So from this point, uh, that concludes uh, everything. It's very basic once you know how to do it. Um, I hope this helps you guys out. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.